Greetings, fellas <laughs> and ladies. Um, I'm delighted to be here. I have a huge soft spot for those in the e-com space and for business owners in general. I've been a business owner in the e-com space for 17 years, which spins me out saying that out loud. And so I've been very much in the trenches just trying to work it all out. And uh, when you figure it out, it changes, so you figure it out again. And, and we at least still love that process and love that game. And the short story is, in 2002, started a retail store in Frio called Didgeridoo Breath and an e-commerce site um, when we first started. And that was selling like world musical instruments. So didgeridoos, African drums, flutes, um, you name it. We taught it and sold it. And so from day one, we started hacking together the website, camera came out, started taking pictures, and they didn't look good, but that's, you know, you do what you do when you start these things. And over years and years, we kind of got deeper and deeper into that industry and retail in general and e-commerce. And there was kind of this tipping point around 10 years ago where I got more excited about figuring out what photos helped that business and taking those pictures than I did you know, spending time with a thousand of other things that you need to do running a business. So 10 years ago, Perth Product Photography was born and now we're a team of seven legends sprinkled through the audience, so careful what you say to your neighbour. <laughs> you tapped. And, uh, and so we spend our time taking pictures for businesses. And in terms of like what photos do we take, we take bubbly things and colourful things and shiny things and earthy things and pink things and drinkable things and delicious things. Honey cake, oh my God. Delicious things and any excuse to go to the beach things and technical shots on white, like you need to know what you're doing with lighting and then artsy shots with lots of props and sets and luxurious things and beautiful things. So the full bag. So businesses will come to us and they'll go, hi, we sell this. Um, can you help us figure out what pictures are going to work and create those pictures to connect with our customers, basically. And so thinking about what to share with you tonight, it's like, OK, we've got 10 minutes. and. So I was running scenarios through my head. So I was thinking like, well, what if, what if your business was my business? Or like, what if we were business partners and we had 10 minutes? Like, what would I say to you to help our business as much as possible? And this is kind of what rose to the top. Um, I have this kind of weird philosophy that when it comes to commercial photography or photography for businesses, I've, the world's got enough photos. There's billions. So the world doesn't need more pictures or videos. Um, but businesses need things to happen. Like you want to communicate in a certain way to certain people, or you want to introduce a new team member, or you want to sell a product. And so photography, just like many other things, copy and design and, and, and all of it, is a tool to help you achieve what you need to achieve as a business. So this is one question that kind of runs through our head all the time with every conversation, whenever the camera's in our hand, whenever we're taking a shot, it's like, what job does this picture need to do? And then we go about trying to solve that job or solve that question through that imagery. For example, so say, say I sell this clicker. So and here's a clicker, PowerPoint presentation clicker. And so we need to create a library of images to populate the website. And so the, the question or the answer to what's the job, what job does this picture need to do, it's going to be different depending on where it is. So say, for example, work with me on, on this one, but say, say a home page. So we want to create a nice uh, image for the home page of this website. Well, what job does it need to do here? It could actually be to show, it could actually to build trust and credibility. So we could take a nice shot, back of the room, looking through, bunch of people, handsome presenter up on stage, <laughs> work with me, with the clicker. And, uh, and you know, what's its job? It's to show that this is actually a real product, it exists out in the world, people are depending on it, uh, there's a cool space, um, someone's got something to say, and this is working. A scene setter, yeah? So at that level, like a homepage image, that could cut it. And then click, dig deeper, you've got your interest, then you might drop into like a category page of where, you know, digging a little bit deeper, there's a list of products, but there might be like a banner across the top of that page. 
well, what's the job of this image at the top of that page? Well, maybe show more detail. Like we've set the scene, we know that you know, this is for people that are presenting to groups. Let's drill in a little bit deeper, a little bit on this clicker. So perhaps another shot, there might be like, you know, people in the shot, or it could actually just be a close-up showing hand, the clicker, bit of a presentation in the background, sense of scale, like you can instantly see how big this is, having a hand in there, so it's doing a job, it's communicating what it is, and showing a little bit more of the product. Making sense? This is not rocket science, but it's kind of, nothing good normally is that complicated. Uh, and then when you drop down, you scroll down, and you see the pictures of the products. So there's four different clickers. Yeah? Cool. Uh, in terms of like how this may look for like a, a candle business, similar. Home page, just pretty. People, a bit of life in there, some nice flowers. Drilling down to a little bit deeper, dropping into some categories. So there's different kind of ranges here. Um, still kind of lifestyle-ish, but getting a bit more candle-y. And then we drop down to like product mode. And just at this point, just show the candles. They come in a nice box, beautiful gift, additional image with some, you know, a candle lit. Yeah? So homework exercise, uh, homework sucks actually. Opportunity for you. Have a look through your website or your marketing through the question of what job does this need to do? And you might find some insights there. You might not even need to create new images. It could be a switch around or it could be bang on and then that's great. But uh, this has really helped us over the years and, and is definitely front of mind for anything we create for any business. Cool? <coughs> Next thing. You know when you understand something intellectually, like you read something or I say something and you're like, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yep, I get it. And then when you like experience something and like you have a little like compass shifting moment where it's like, yeah, okay, this is like, I'm clinging to this. There was this time, I was back in the did shop and short stories, I spent a year or year and a half in the UK working for a ski and snowboard and surfwear company. So clothing snowboards and all things kind of cool. And I was like their web guy. So take some photos, figure out the SEO stuff. It's kind of when like keywords were all the go and we could kind of like tweak the site. So I just unleashed and just treated it like my own business and just went sick on, on the web space for them. And in that industry, you get the big brands, like you get your Quicksilvers, your Roxy, your Billabong. Each season they send you campaign imagery. And it's beautiful imagery of great people in great places wearing the products of that season. So if you want to sell these pair of board shorts, it's like look through the uh, Quicksilver archive. Sweet, Kelly Slater, Tahiti, Massive Barrel, wearing the board shorts. Great, great product shot of the board shorts. In terms of like pulling together a nice page, killer lifestyle image, nice product shots. It was actually like really quite easy to do. And that's just the way that industry works. There's just an abundance of amazing imagery. So then coming back to little didgeridoo breath in Fremantle, it's like we, had no, we didn't have like suppliers sending us epic shots of, you know, you know, um, <laughs> nothing. And so the website was like, oh my God, this is, where's the life in this? And we had, you know, five clicks deep. There was like the photo gallery of this concert and that concert. And, but it was like, man, you had to go fishing for that. If the rest of it was just products. And uh, so we did this experiment. So we basically like got the camera out, starting to get handy with the camera by then. And we thought, well, let's, let's put big smiley faces on every page of the website somehow. So we started just taking photos. We had an awesome team of just outgoing individuals. So we, we took a bunch of pictures and we just started loading up the website with pictures like this, this picture and like this picture and every page had people and life and action and then when you drop down into the category pages there was like pictures like this and we had text over there explaining what it was and then like this and for the music and then the learning and we just loaded up on every page and um, so sales increased, so everything went the way you would expect. But 
But the unexpected thing that was kind of the compass shifting moment was the tone of emails, the words people were using in the emails just to contact us changed. There was like much more of, hey guys, love what you do there. I'm coming to Fremantle next April. Can't wait to come and visit. Hey, um, planning my next trip to Australia. Definitely locking in Frio. Can't wait to hang with you guys. Like that was happening all the time. And it's like, wow, that was like a polarizing moment in terms of a shit. Like nothing had changed for the business. We were doing exactly the same thing with exactly the same people. But we communicated, or, or basically we communicated that for the, the world's kind of customers to join in. And that was like a major shifting point for that business. And so my point is, the pictures that you choose and use will impact your business in ways that you, you won't expect. So if you can, almost all businesses have a little, I don't know the words, but I just call it magic dust. Like, where is the magic dust in your business? And then how can you turn that into visuals so people can bond with it? Easier said than done. And when I say pictures, it's like images, videos, illustrations, like everything, all of it, anything visual. But there's a real opportunity there to, again, think about like what is, if what you're saying and what you're showing, if you could just like pull out your business name and plug in someone else's business name and that would make sense to them, then you haven't gone deep enough yet. So kind of go deep and speak to people and figure out what is your special source and then like turn that into imagery somehow. Cool? And then this is something that we've observed with ourselves, ourselves and then we've just seen it now hundreds of times in photo shoots with our clients. And the theory is this. So the clothes that you wear impact how you feel. Like you can feel embarrassed, daggy clothes, everything's rubbing, it's like ugh, sweaty, greasy hair. You can feel embarrassed or feel great, depending on your outfit. And so your business has an outfit too. It's the brand, it's the design, it's the words you use, it's the pictures, it's the whole shebang. And we've found, like if I was to kind of graph our, uh, I guess, performance or, or how, how good a job we could do, over time it kind, of, it kind of gets better, 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 because you've been doing it longer, longer, longer. But if I graphed our confidence to go, hi, we do this, it kind of goes like this, depending on our outfit at the time. Like actually, like to be honest, right now, I feel pretty good. We've got Gabby who's just rocking, like all our current work is on the website. But 18 months ago, that wasn't the case. It was like a year or two old. So that translates in conversations. So you're like, oh, sorry about that. Mm, you probably can't see the, what you're looking at. Oh, let, me, let me dig out some examples and send you some links. Um, you start a poly, oh, you know, don't worry about our team shots. We're about to update it. Please don't judge the website. It's, it's coming, we've got a new one coming. All of that stuff like actually comes out in the words you use and how you talk about it. Or if things are cooking and you've just got a new design or a new paint job or a new something and it's like, yeah, come check this place out. This is great, welcome. And so the point of this is, again, do a little bit of order. And if there's anything in your business, imagery, so I'm a photo guy, but this applies to everything. If there's anything in your business that's kind of like chipping away at your confidence, or how you feel about the state of things, then fix it. And anything that you feel really good about and kind of helps you feel good about what you do, push that forward. And there's like a thousand little things, right? So if you treat it like a project, it'll just never be done. It'll, just, it'll be overwhelming. So go through the overwhelm, bottom out, have a wobble, and then just pick something and then just tweak it and then start tweaking and start tweaking. And the thing that I noticed was actually with clients. So when we're doing studio shoots, there's uh, cameras set up, products are getting shot, big screen, every image gets piped straight up on the screen. So clients can see their images as they're being taken. And you see like 
when you see like that product come up on the screen and look great, like great, you see them change because there's been a ton of hard work that's mostly invisible for that client to get it to that point. And when they see it, it's like, oh my, like yeah, we've had people tear up and it's common. It's like, it's a big thing and like, oh my God, I feel so proud. Whatever word they use. But you see it also in the words that they post, like posts. You see when they come out of a shoot and post a behind the scenes or, or a picture of a new product. And like they're, lank, like they're walking taller. You just feel it in the words that they use. And it's like quite infectious. And, and, and so that there, just seeing that over and over again, it's like a real thing. Like if anything you can do to make you feel good about what you're doing, is going to pay off in many, many different ways. Cool. And that's a wrap. Yep. Awesome.